Welcome to today's video lecture series. In this video, we are going to discuss about the composite wall and its applications in heat transfer. So, the composite wall of the heat transfer is the heat conduction through composite wall is a classic problem in numerical heat transfer. Composites wall consist of multi-layer of different materials, each with its own thermal conductivity, thickness, possibly heat generation. And to analyze heat conduction through these walls, we can use numerical methods such as the finite difference method, finite uh, element method, and finite volume method. And governing council, uh, governing equation for heat conduction in a one-dimensional study table. In case of the Fourier law, it will be following is Q is X is equal to minus K dt by dx. Qx is equal to heat flux, thermal conductivity. T equal to temperature. X is equal to spatial coordinates. In a composite wall, the thermal conductivity varies across the layers leading the equation of uh, minus K i d squared ti by dx squared is equal to zero, where i represents uh, each layer. And the composite wall, the boundary conditions are needed at the interfaces of the layers. At the edges of the composite wall, these are typically is a temperature boundary condition and a fixed temperature at one or both ends. And a flux boundary condition is a fixed heat flux at one or both ends. And interface condition, it's a continuity of heat flux and a temperature across the interfaces between different types of layers. So the composite wall uh, material is uh, almost consists of two or more different type of uh, uh, metals joining and it will be making the higher strength as comparing with the previous one, including the cast space also the production of uh, this composite wall material will be in a comparative with the previous uh, one, this, this newest one is in a, a low production cost. And the composite wall is in a difference method of finite difference method, finite element method, and a finite volume method. So this wall is divided into a grid, and the temperature at each grid point is calculated using the finite difference approximation of the heat conduction equation. For steady state heat conduction, the second derivative of temperature is approximated as uh, d squared t by dx squared is equal to t a plus 1 minus 2 t a plus t a minus 1 divided by del x squared. For multi layers, we can apply different thermal conductivity values to each layer's grid points and solve the system of equations for temperature at each node. And the finite element method, the composite wall is divided into elements and the temperature distribution is approximated using basic functions within each element. And the film involves forming a system of equations based on the weak form of the governing heat conduction equation. This method is particularly useful uh, for irregular geometries for varying material properties. And the finite volume method, and this method conserves the heat flux across control volumes. The composite wall is divided into control volumes, and heat fluxes are balanced within each control volume to solve for the temperature. The interface between two material is treated carefully to ensure proper heat flux uh, continuity uh, of the segment. So the summary of this uh, composite wall uh, structure material of a uh, heat transfer equation. So the in composite wall material will be basically notified in the heat conductions only, uh, not uh, approximated in the radiations or in the uh, convection method. And also heat conduction radiation method, it will be usually distributed to the uh, numerical method transfer or uh, numerical method formulas also we discussed about the methods are like uh, uh, finite element method, uh, finite uh, uh, difference method and finite volume method. And we noted or we fixed the boundary conditions of uh, each and everything problem we can identify about uh, for the uh, Temperature boundary condition using the Richlet condition, flux boundary condition we using Newman boundary condition, and interface boundary condition we use uh, finite differences method uh, layers of the conditions. So these are the uh, final composites wall different method uh, using uh, FDM method, FEM method, 
and FEA method of uh, heat transfer phenomena in uh, numerical uh, methods. Thank you.